And about a year ago, in July of 2011, we rented a small house. And uh, you know, subsequent to, to uh, every move into a new location, you know, we paid the uh, deposits for hydro, we paid the deposit to the city for the water, etc. In our case, for the water, it was $230. What happened was, uh, uh, this past May, actually early June, I phoned the city. Um, basically, it's really like I phoned hydro. I said, uh, about my water deposit, is that going to be refunded to me, or is my water bill going to be credited for that amount? Um, I said, just, I'd like to know. And uh, the response immediately on the phone was, well, sir, um, unless you're planning to buy a house in Cambridge, or unless you're planning to move out of Cambridge, you're not going to get it back. And I went, no, I'm sorry, there must be a mistake. I, don't think I heard you quite right. And she said, no, no, it's very clear. She said, uh, I said, that basically, as long as I remain a tenant in Cambridge, I'll never see my deposit back. And she said, well, essentially, that's correct. And I said, but I'll get interest on it. I said, oh, yes, sir, the interest is paid. You just, you'll never see it. <laughs> so, a little surprised by that. So I, uh, I thought about it, and, uh, and I uh, contacted my local council person. You know, what's the next thing you do? I'm one of the 28, 27 people, 27 percent of the people in Cambridge that actually vote me this full election. So I figured I could call my council person for the first time ever, and I'd get a response. So basically, I gave him a phone call, and there was there was no response to that. And uh, who was it? Your counselor? Your counselor's name? Oh, sorry. Yeah, my counselor, Ward Six, Gary Price. So I'd uh, I'd send Mr. Price, or I'd left a message, and uh, as subsequent to that, I sent him an email, basically outlining the problem, saying that there must be something wrong here. And uh, he got back to me within about 24 hours, sent me an email right back, and uh, he was uh, as blunt as the person was on the other, uh, as the person in the water department was. He said, basically, no, Mr. Maxwell says, unless you buy a house, unless you move out of Cambridge, you'll never get it back. So, normally when I get to this point, and normally I don't ever have to get to this point with anybody, so I, I was a little concerned. And, uh, and normally at this point I would say, okay, well, forget it. You know, I said to my wife, you know, we give them 230 bucks, that's the end of it. But this time I went a little step further. Uh, this time I sent an email to the um, Ombudsman's Office of Ontario. And uh, they were very sympathetic, got back to me promptly, and said, basically, look, um, unless this is an issue that's behind closed doors and in this full council meeting, we can't help you. But look, we're really sorry. Uh, but we suggest you contact Municipal Affairs. So I contacted the Ministry of Municipal Affairs of Ontario. And again, a response within 24 hours. Actually, I got two responses from Municipal Affairs. And they basically came back to me and said, look, you, there's a real problem there. We really feel sorry for you, but unfortunately, the water building issue is a municipal affair, and, um, and we can't help you. So that brought me back to, what do I do next? And... Uh, I, uh, I sent a couple of emails back to my counselor, city counselor. I admit, a couple of them were pretty snarky. Uh, you know, I not to admit I'm an angel. Uh, but anyway, so I subsequently sent him three or four emails, and I left three voice messages saying, Gary, I'd like to sit down with you to understand a couple of things. A, why is, this, why is the policy set this way where nobody's going to get their deposit back? So why are they labeling this deposit? Why isn't it just labeled for donation or, or a contribution to the city? And number two, when I originally talked to the water department, I said, well, I'm going to call my city council person on that. And they said, well, so they're not going to make a difference. This is a policy issue, and your counselors can't affect that, which again I thought was a little strange. So uh, I mentioned that to Gary Price. I'd also like to meet you about uh, your role in government. Where can you help us? Um, apparently, you can't affect policy, which I think is, is wrong. They make policy. So. Um, my concerns were twofold, or probably threefold at this point. But number one, I've basically given up on the fact that I'm never going to see my $230 back. Um, all right, and subsequent to that, when I inquired, well, what if I do go out and buy a house? What's the deposit for that? They said, there is no deposit. So now we've got what I think is a form of discrimination against a class of tenants. And that tenant being the one that's basically paying their own utilities, because, in effect, you're paying $230 for the city. Kayla had mentioned earlier there was an overage of $175,000, something like that, in the city water budget. Well, I bet you there's probably a good chunk of that, or several thousand of that, is probably from $230 donations from people like myself. And that'll never go down, unless they spend it on something else. 
Um, my other concern was, of course, lack of response from my council person. Um, I guess I was expecting something more. I uh, reached out to him in, on several occasions, and I guess the next thing to do is basically when the next election rolls around, uh, I've never gotten that involved in municipal uh, elections or municipal politics, but I have a number of friends and, uh, and a large enough family that I think we will get involved the next time around. And we'll see if we can affect change that way. Um, but a phone call would be nice. Anyways, thanks for listening.